Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and today, I was going to talk to you guys about my thoughts on the Destiny 2 gameplay. So, where do we begin? So, I watched the gameplay, uh, I guess, reveal stream that they had two weeks ago, and to be honest, I'm not that impressed. It looks exactly the same like Destiny 1. Nothing has changed. So, after, you know, well, I was just say, during the story mission, I, people were, were like, I saw that people were commenting about how good the games look, the game looks, and how um, uh, the cinematic was so awesome, but I think people forget that, you know, past Destiny 1's opening mission and montage, the game basically boiled down to go through a hallway, and either you do a horde point defense mission, you scan a thing, or... And that's it, basically, only two types of missions. So... I'm struggling to find any reason why this should be called a sequel and not just a DLC mission. Oh my gosh, I'm out of ammo. So, I feel like it's more, they showed off more of a DLC than than an actual sequel. Because, like, if you think about it, right, this, this costs $60. Like, that's $20 more than taking King. Like, I, <clears throat> if my memory serves me right. And Taken King was basically 10 story missions and a couple cinematics with... What, what am I making one shot? Are you trapping over the one shot? Oh, like during the first um, mission in Destiny, I was hyped, dude. That shit looked incredible. Oh my goodness, I'm dying every time. I swear to God, man. But anyways. <clears throat> I feel like the whole thing is would just be better as a DLC. And not like what? Am I lagging? And um, it doesn't look like an improvement. Honest, honestly, it does not look like an improvement. I feel like they they were just lazy and. Just decide to reskin everything. We're not getting anything exactly new. They may say we're getting like a new raid, which was originally cut out of Destiny 1. You know, that's how far they will go. In every expansion, we get like 10 missions of a generic enemy boss and a, and a raid. And I think this is a is going to be that. I don't think that they're going to do anything special with this. I don't think that, you know, it's warranted the $60 that they want us to pay. You know?
I don't I don't think uh yeah. oh he's right here like the fact that they um it's just basically more of the same which is why i'm disappointed you know look at battlefield 4 look at battlefield 3 like battlefield 4 it's, the, it's like, I wait, yes, every sequel is basically an expansion, but in this case, Destiny 2 is literally just an expansion. I don't see the change that they made warranting a new game. Like, I think the only reason they're saying it's a new game is because Destiny 1 lacked so much. It lacked the story, it lacked proper weapons balancing, it lacked pretty much everything. You know? And I think that's why people like to call this a new game, even though it's worthy of, of just an expansion name, you know? <laughs> and the same subclasses like Dawnblade, really, I mean, it's a terrible name, but like, you could literally just pop Radiance on your Warlock. And use a sword and bam, and slam down. That's that's your dawn blade, you know. You can um. Oh my goodness. Oh my... How will you do that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like... It's so... God... I'm just so irritated that they have the, the nerve to basically sell us an expansion pack. It's nothing new, man. Nothing. Look at Halo 1, you look at Halo 2. Well, okay, maybe that's not the best. Maybe that's not the best example, because Halo 2 has such, has such a difficult development cycle. But you look at Destiny, and it's exactly the same, you know? It had the same away from me, Shank. It had the same exact problems, you know. The studio didn't know what they wanted and they turned out with the Frankenstein type of game that would lack major content. And the only reason people are accepting it as a new game is because the first one didn't happen. And that sucks. Because this because Destiny 2 would have been seen as an expansion. Actually, a, a DLC game, as every you know, in any other game, you know. Okay, yes, they put new, they put like matchmaking rings. That should basically amount to a update, a major, what's called a major update, and not just a DLC, you know. But I guess. Yeah, like people are like, oh well the guns feel different. I mean I'm just I'm just sitting here like what the hell? Ooh shit. And it's like all my friends are just buying into this belief that Destiny 2 is, you know, I guess the next big thing, like, 
oh, you're not gonna play Destiny 2? I'm just like, it's the same shit. Nothing has changed. Like, okay, they got what? One new ability? The blade, the blade dancer carries a staff rather than a knife? That doesn't work for a new, for like, this Destiny 2 to become a sequel, you know? It's like it's the strikes are playing are predictable, and the uh, the new social space, the European Dead Zone, it was already in Destiny One as multiplayer maps, and the story is just gonna be so cliche, like you fucking bring back all your buddies who surprisingly hang out on the hang out around the table. And then you just you fight the big bad guy together, like that's so cheesy and predictable. How could how does anyone stomach that? You know? How does anyone stomach that? I don't know. I don't know how people stomach that. There we go. I don't want this to be longer than uh, 15 minutes though. It's disappointing. It's so disappointing. So I'm just gonna wrap it up at this. Right? It's disappointing. Nothing new. Nothing, you know, different. Oh, so always bullshitting, you know? I bet you. And, like, they already have DLC ready. This is such a disappointment, you know? I, I can't believe they're doing this. I honestly can't. It's it's so it's disappointing to the point where it's just aggravating, you know? It's aggravating that they will just they will do this, you know? They did the same thing with Rise of Iron. You know, hyped it up for this massive thing. Turns out it's only ten turns out it's only five story missions. It's only five story missions in a new in a raid. So that's that's all I have to say about it. I think I honestly think it's gonna suck. It's just gonna be a repeat of Destiny all over again. Even when no content whatsoever, and then just, and then you can charge like fucking twenty dollars for the next expansion. So yeah, that's all I have to say. You know, I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever. I honestly think Need for Speed did a better reveal than Destiny. So and it looked. The new Need for Speed game looks awesome. We're going to talk about that in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys do like this video, actually, you know, like it. And subscribe if you're new. And tell me in the comments that you can improve on, what I can improve on videos. And what, what do you think about Destiny 2? So, I will see you later. Thanks for watching.